Yeah, that was way before. Yes. So valuable, valuable <laughs> lesson in life. Anytime you have a mic on, just assume it's on. Yes. Right. Was I want to welcome everyone this afternoon to the 2024 ACC Women's Basketball Tip-Off. And more importantly, I would like to welcome Virginia to the stage. Head coach going into her third season, Amaka Ogugwa Hamilton, known as Coach Mox from here on out for my benefit. <laughs> we also have Paris Clark and then Amora Johnson. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. You had a remarkable turnaround last year. You, you're a builder. You know how to get this stuff done. But last year, seven wins in the program, postseason, birth, which we know was the goal when you got there. But you've also increased attendance. Can you talk about one, is one go hand in hand? Is it chicken or egg? Or has this just been you and the plan all along? Yeah, I mean, it definitely goes hand in hand. I mean, I, I, I think we got some of the best fans in the country and they've been showing up and showing out. Um, they love the product that they're seeing. and the style of play that they're seeing. They love our players. Our players are in the community. Um, we give back a lot as much, a lot as, much as we can. Um, but at the same time, I, I agree. I think last year we took some steps forward for sure. We had some big wins. We had significant wins. We had some uh, wins that mo uh, moved our program forward. But there's still more room to grow. And our players are very hungry. We're very hungry. Obviously, the natural next step would be the big dance, the NCAA tournament this year. Um, but just focusing, focusing on like consistency um, and just the work that goes into it. That's why we always say grind now, sign later, because we just want to focus on the little details that go into being successful and getting the program to reach greatness and sustain it. Coach Fox, I know it's October, but kind of give us a preview of what this team's looking like, whether it's pace of play or style of play and maybe similarities from last year, but also some differences. Yeah, I mean, it, it's early. We still have about a month before we play a game, but I like where we're at. I really do. Um, this group is more athletic, I think, than we've been since I've been here. Um, so we're playing faster. Um, our pace is great on both sides of the floor. I think we defend really, really well. We have some post players that can switch out and do some things. So, um, you know, just our athleticism and our length definitely got better. Um, and then, you know, our returners all are very, very hungry. You know, that was a big step we took last year went to postseason for the first time since 2018 so you know to be close nobody wants to be close you know we're a couple games away from being an ncaa tournament so we're hungry um which is just um letting us be really competitive in practice so i like how we compete i like how athletic we are we play with pace do some things defensively that we haven't been able to do um rebound the ball and and have all the energy in the building from our fans Hi, uh, TJ Wilkerson from the Sports Nerd Podcast. Um, my question goes to Kimora and Paris. Y'all both came into this program together. How has that bonded y'all, not just as teammates, but outside of the game as well? Um, I mean, yeah, me and Mo, like, coming into here, I, we knew each other a little bit, um, just, you know, seeing each other on the circuit or, like, through basketball. Um, but coming here has really, like, bonded us. So she's one of my closest friends, and I think it helps us on – and off the court. Yeah, I agree. Um, I was coming in here before Paris, but when she came on her visit, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, her visit, I was like, oh yeah, we gotta have her here. Um, I knew it was a relationship that I wanted to build and um, a new teammate that I wanted to have by my side, so. Kamora, um, obviously there was a lot of standout freshmen last year, and I feel like the ones that are weren't talked about as much was you, but you've, you were amazing last year, obviously points per game, assist. Um, what is it over the off season you really worked on and hope to develop into your sophomore year? Um, biggest thing is probably leadership um, and efficiency. I think that my leadership role like grew definitely last year. It was a new step for me. Um, it's hard coming in and like leading a team. Um, and I didn't take that lightly. I knew it was something that I wanted to do. I've always strived to be a leader in everything that I do. Um, but this year, I think that trying to grow that and build that as much as possible to be the best leader I can to help lead this team to where it should be is my biggest thing I think. Coach Mox, obviously three new additions to the ACC. For you and your staff, did that change how you approached like during the, not, during the off season in terms of how you're prepared for this coming season? Or is it just we'll deal with that when it comes? Yeah, um, it didn't change much because, again, this I, I've said it all day. I, I've believed since I've 
my first year here that we are the best women's basketball conference in the country and we've gotten even better and better each year and I think adding NCAA tournament teams and you know caliber teams like Stanford things like that is only going to make us even better so this this conference is a dogfight and every give any given day somebody can beat you or you can beat somebody so from top to bottom I really do think it's a competitive league so adding more competitive teams doesn't really change how you prepare I think at the end of the day you have to make sure your team is focused, competes, and shows well in the non-conference so that we can build the confidence as a unit to go into conference play. Paris, what's the one non-negotiable to play for Coach Mox? There's a few. One. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I said, Paris, please tell me all the non-negotiables <laughs> to play for Coach Mox. Um, I mean, I'll tell you something that, like, she really puts emphasis on is just, like, giving. Um, she knows, like, you know, there's life and we're human, um, but just as long as you're showing up every day and giving in your all, and whether it's being a good teammate or getting that extra rebound, getting the steal, um, just giving in your all every day. Kamara, we mentioned the three new teams. If you were to, if they were standing here today, what would you say to them in terms of what they need to expect from Virginia basketball? Well, first I would say welcome. Um, you're so polite. <laughs> and then I would probably say um, just get ready. I think. Um, you know, we were we were an underestimated team, and we had a couple upsets. Um, and I think that people should just be prepared. Coach Mox, um, right now, obviously we said it earlier, it's October. But what are some strengths that you know that you can this team will be able to hang their hat on this season? Yeah, um, competing. I, I definitely think that's a strength. We got kids that want to win, um, focus on one common goal. Yes, we're gonna have fun and enjoy the journey because that's something that I do preach to. Um, let's create these lasting memories together. But at the end of the day, we have kids that are driven to reach their goals and to reach our team goals. So um, fast paced, we're going to play. Our pace is always fast. We practice fast. We work out fast. Um, rebounding. And um, I think we got a lot of scores. We got a lot of people that can fill it up. Coach, women's basketball is really growing in the eyes of the public. Everyone talks about UVA men's basketball, but this team is growing too. So in your own words, why should we watch UVA women's basketball this year? What are they going to bring to the table? Yeah, I mean, everybody talks about UVA men's basketball, rightfully so. It's a great program. But I think people are talking about us too, just to correct you. Um, <laughs> we did have a game in March that had 12,000-something fans which was something to really celebrate, um, broke a record in Virginia. So I think that the notor notoriety of our team has gone up. I think the excitement of our team, especially in our community and surrounding communities, is great. Um, and I think you know that game that we had was great for women's basketball, too, because we had all those fans in the building showcase you know, a really good game uh, against Virginia Tech, who was number five in the country at the time. But you know, for us, we're number one, high character program, um, operate with high integrity from the top down. And yes, we're gonna, we're gonna have fun and enjoy the journey, but we're gonna work. And that's why our, what we say every day is grind now, shine later. Um, we have hardworking kids that give back, um, wanna empower the next generation. There's a lot of little kids that come to our games that are excited and look up to them. Um, and we, we just, we're getting back to the glory days of UVA women's basketball. I mean, I know people probably talk about that, you know, um, Don Staley, Debbie, Debbie Ryan, all of those players, Tammy Reese, Wendy Palmer, Audra Smith, oh, there's so many greats that came through there and we have some greats in the making. So um, I think people are excited and just broke a season ticket record again, um, season ticket sold. So I, I just love our fans in our community and it's not just right in, in Charlottesville, it's, it's UVA fans all around. Kamara, give us a name of a teammate that maybe people aren't aware of right now that you think give a couple of games that everyone's gonna start talking about? Uh, I'd say Jan Savon. Why? Uh, I, I know personally that she's always had it in her, but I think that there's just something coming, something really special coming this year. Paris, what about you? Um, there's a few, but I'm gonna say one that I think will really, you know, open people's eyes this year. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it to our freshman. Her name is Bree Hurd. Um, I think she's really going to put herself on the map this year. Okay. Coach Mox, in the ACC, we talk a lot about accomplished greatness. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? Sacrifice. Um, 
you know, in order to be great in anything, you have to have tremendous sacrifices. And um, whether you're a coach, player, whether you're in a different profession, whatever it is, you have to sacrifice. Could be personal, could be work-related, could be whatever. But what sacrifices are you willing to make um, to be great, to, you know, be able to master your craft, you know, put in extra work, um, whether it's physical work, mental work, emotional work. Um, you know, you have to be able to sacrifice some time, sacrifice all kinds of things in order to do that. So that's what it means to me. Paris, give us the scouting report on your teammate. <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> How would you stop LeBron then? <laughs> okay. Did I really say how I stop her? Um, give a scouting report. Okay. Don't no. Don't Here's give out positive. secrets now. Don't give out secrets. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, actually, give, wait, give wait, us wait, the wait, positive. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm what not going to give great? those. Yeah. No. Um. Definitely great knockdown shooter. Really a great overall all around player. He can stop on defense, knock down a three when needed, hit a floater, nice layup. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, guys. Obviously, you're on that doorstep, in my opinion, and what you've built in the last two years, postseason last year. What is it about what you accomplished last year that now you, you're able to build upon to propel you into that next step of success, whether that's the NCAA tournament or just moving up higher within the ACC? Yeah. You asking them or me? I'm asking all of you. Okay. I, I mean, they can answer too, but for me, it's consistency. I think we have a lot of talent. I think we have a lot of drive. I think we have a lot of pieces, scores, defenders, rebounders, things like that. But competing consistently on a daily basis um, so that we can build those habits and we don't drop games like we did last year um, or show up a little bit uninterested or whatever it is, um, that's the next step. Once we do that and we're consistent, consistent then the chips will fall where they may. Yeah, I agree. I was going to say the exact same thing, yeah. consistency. Um, but also just knowing what we're capable of. Like, we, we beat great teams. Um, and we know that we can be a great team. So just, you know, following through with that is what we need to do. Yeah. Coach Moss, I'm not in practice every day, but based on the head nods when you say something, these two are in simpatico with you in terms of leadership. <laughs> so I think that's a good sign for you guys. Um, All right, finally, one word that you want to just summarize, encapsulate what this season's gonna be for you guys this season? One word. Um, I'll say resilience. I think, uh, personally, I think that was my word, actually. Yeah, my <laughs> word. Um, but I think that last year we faced a lot of adversity, but, um, and we struggled at first, like, staying resilient, staying, like, positive through that. So I think that we know what it takes now. And so just having that in the back of our mind and having, like, we know what we're capable of, we know what it takes, like, that sort of thing is going to help propel us forward. Yeah. Um, sorry, mine is two words, but three words, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but really, it's just wake them up. I think that this year we're really going to wake everybody up. And like Simone said, just building on what we did last year, you know, as a little sneak peek. Um, yeah. And so, yeah. Can, can I get a little clarification? Who is them? It's Everybody. actually M, wake them up. Wake them up, like okay. E-M, the yeah. whole world. Who, wake who's the whole world? The whole world. Right. Like who is the audience? Wake them up. Up. <laughs> Got it, the whole world. Yes. Coach, you get your hands full. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you want me to answer? Please. I'm, I'm just going to go with humble and hungry. Um, as long as we stay humble and hungry throughout great wins and adversity and all that, we'll be great. Well, ladies, Coach Mox, it's been a pleasure. You guys had... Tremendous season. Best of luck building on that and getting into the NCAA tournament. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.